Don't rely too much on others. Don't rely too much on others. She pleaded with him to stay. She pleaded with him to stay. Can I have a word with you? Can I have a word with you? I'm sorry, I can't help you. This one's important. Be honest. If you can't help someone, just let them know. I'm sorry, I can't help you. I'm sorry, but I don't understand English very well. I'm sorry, but I don't understand English very well. I'm afraid you're mistaken. I'm afraid you're mistaken. I'm afraid I have no idea. I'm afraid I have no idea. I'm afraid that doesn't appeal to me. This is really important. If something doesn't appeal to you, if you don't think it's going to serve you, you have to know how to reject it. And this is the most polite way to say it. I'm afraid that doesn't appeal to me. I'm afraid I can't remember. I'm afraid I can't remember. I'm afraid it will rain. I'm afraid it'll rain. I'm afraid you misunderstood me. This is very common in the workplace. I'm afraid you might miss, you might, <laughs> I'm afraid you misunderstood me. Or, I'm afraid we'll lose the game. I'm afraid we'll lose the game. I'm afraid that I might make you angry. I'm afraid I might make you angry. I'm afraid it may rain tomorrow. I'm afraid it may rain tomorrow. This is a very common sentence in English. You will hear this often from people that are willing to be honest. I don't want to give you false hopes. I don't want to give you false hopes. How are you going to raise money? How are you going to raise money? I hope you raise a lot of money. I hope you raise a lot of money. We raised $1,000 for new school equipment. We raised $1,000 for new school equipment. Some people say he wants to raise taxes. Some people say he wants to raise taxes. A student raised his hand after the teacher finished reading. A student raised his hand after the teacher finished reading. Lots of aunts, uncles, even strangers raised a child without being paid and they were happy to do it. This is true all over the world and cheers to them. Lots of aunts, uncles, and even strangers raised a child without being paid, and they were happy to do it. Anything else? Anything else? No, that's all. No, that's all. Is there anything else you'd like? This is very common. You might hear it in a restaurant or a store when you're shopping. Is there anything else you'd like? Or when you're talking about information, I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. Is there anything I can do to help? This is really common when someone is in a tough situation and maybe a friend or a family member wants to reach out and help them. Is there anything I can do to help? I can't see anything from here. I can't see anything from here. I can eat anything. I can eat anything. I didn't do anything. This is such a common phrase among children. I didn't do anything. We don't tell him anything. Common among children 
and as well as <laughs> it's common among children and as well among colleagues. We don't tell him anything. Or I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Or you might hear, you can ask me anything. You can ask me anything. If it's broken, I have one in my car. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. But you could say that. You could also say, if it's broken, I have another one in my car. <laughs>